Greetings, Twin Flames. This is Lucid of Twin Flame RX, and I'm here on October 2nd, which is a Monday, for the monthly reading for Twin Flames, again for the month of October 2017. I'd like to start off with thanking you all for liking, sharing, subscribing to the YouTube channel. Thanks to those that follow on Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. Thanks to those that come to me for private sessions. There's two links below where you can find me online. I do chat readings whenever I'm available, which is every day I'm available. You can set an alert on the profile or you can watch for my tweets. My tweets will let you know if I'm online. And I also have a private video reading option that you may order. All of that is in the description box below. Usually I start the readings with a positive affirmation and this one is awesome for this whole entire month. It is love is all there is. And so that's a beautiful message there with the two birds, the love birds. They are just letting us know that October is going to be a beautiful month where we can live in our hearts if that's what we choose to do. Um, I also would like to read a prayer from the Uplifting Prayer Book um, by Sonia Choquette. So I'm just going to open to one, Divinely Guided by Spirit. It is saying no. Holy Mother, Father, God, Divine Loving Light and Heart of the Universe, we humbly ask for the healing power of your grace to help us recognize our limits and say no without guilt before we explode or implode under pressure. Please send in your angels to enable us to not feel intimidated or bullied into doing what we do not want to do or giving up more than we want to give. Grant us the courage to speak up and draw the line when others are pushing us too far in a loving but firm manner. Let us do this so that everyone in our life is clear about our boundaries so we can eliminate the stress that comes from being taken advantage of. We thank you in advance with our whole heart and soul for answering our prayer and we look forward to the freedom that this will bring. Amen and with infinite gratitude. So hopefully the prayer resonates with you and remember that creating healthy boundaries is a very important element to any healthy relationship that you have with anyone in your life, including your beloved. Remember this reading here is a reading that is going to be valid for all twin flames in some way shape or form so only take the parts that resonate with your soul and leave what else is left behind you never know some things may resonate at another time during the month so maybe come back to this reading later in the month what i'm going to do now is going to shuffle the revelations to row by zach Wan. And we're going to look at the bottom of the deck when I'm done shuffling to get an overall energy for Twin Flames for the entire month. Then we'll also look at the Divine Masculine and Feminine and the Union energies. So I'm just going to do a few cards for each. All right, so I'm cutting the deck into three. And then we'll look at the bottom of the deck for the Union which is that middle pile and wow so wow so this is the four of wands so this is the union the 11 11 card that um we often see and it came up in the i believe the weekly reading that i did yesterday as well that this was the overall energy for twin flames so going into the month of october we have union is imminent and looming and there for the taking basically is what I'm picking up. So I'm going to do the past, present, and future for the divine masculine energy, divine feminine energy, and then also the union energy. So we're going to get more of an idea of what kind of scenarios and energies may play out throughout the month. I'm going to use the Revelations Tarot and I'll also use the Wisdom of the Oracle, I believe, if, as long as we have enough time. Um, so the first thing is, let's look at the Divine Feminine's energy. So recent past energies were Ten of Pentacles, so feeling really abundant and just satisfied knowing that the union can come to fruition whenever um, you know both parties are in balance. You can have it all with your beloved, so that's a great feeling. But then feeling going from that to feeling like the hanged man which actually is a a place of surrender so allowing the divine to let the events unfold that will bring you into that full physical and harmonious union with your beloved and will keep you there 
So allowing the divine to orchestrate the steps when they are meant to be played out. That's the present energy. And then in the near future, we have the six of pentacles. So this is the energy um, showing that it will be something tangible in the physical that does manifest this month for twins. It may not be exactly as you are hoping for because, of course, it's not the ten of pentacles energy that you felt yourself in, but that's how you attract if you feel that abundance and security with your beloved, you're going to attract more of it, so then you get the six. So it's not too bad to be in the six energy, the six of pentacles. Now let's look at what's going to happen energy-wise with the divine masculine counterpart. So in the recent past, divine masculine was feeling pretty abundant and stable, being the queen of pentacles, so feeling that they have their financial affairs in order and that they can move forward toward their beloved and feel that they have something to offer them in the 3D. So that's a great energy for the Divine Masculine. Wow, so we have Nine of Pentacles as the current energy for Divine Masculine. So they're feeling really good about themselves. They're feeling that they have enough stability and abundance now to share with their beloved. So in when I first started doing readings about a year ago, it'll be a year and a month, um, the Divine Masculine was never feeling that they were this Nine of Pentacles. So it's like been taking them, most of them, in this wave of twins this whole year to get their act together pretty much in the physical so that they can feel that abundance and feel that self-worth enough that they can come forward to their beloved. Come forward, like I didn't even look at the card, but we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is amazing that all of these pentacles are showing up. And I mean, I shuffled and shuffled this deck and we have all these pentacles showing up. Pentacles mean we have energy in the third dimension. So this isn't about just a, a metaphysical or multidimensional union. This is about actual physical manifestation in the third dimension of some sort. So this could mean that your beloved is coming to you in the physical with messages or you know, proclamations of their love sometime in October, but something is going to happen to deepen your connection in the physical realm in the month of October, definitely, because the energies look right for that. It may not be exactly what the Divine Feminine is wanting, because the Divine Feminine wants it all, but there will be enough of a manifestation that I believe many Divine Feminines will stop doubting that this is a real phenomenon because I know many are asking me if they're crazy and I even have days where I think maybe I'm going crazy thinking that my beloved is my twin flame and that I'm on the twin flame path but then I snap out of it and here I am you know helping you along on your journey so I have to be strong wow so for the union we have the lovers coming up as the recent past energy so the both of you have felt the love for each other look look at the lovers looking into each other's eyes and being protected by the archangels be, being protected by the divine beautiful energy stay in your heart space is what that's telling me also being ready now presently to jump in both beloveds are feeling like the fool like you know life is short let's just do this already that is the energy of the fool not really caring about like what others might think or say as you know, in the past, maybe the Divine Masculine did care what others would think or say, and even the Divine Feminine did. But now the Beloveds are both realizing that this is their journey together, and this is their chance to be together, so to make this a tangible union. Wheel of Fortune comes up for the um, near future energy. So sometime in the month of October, like I said, something that's faded will happen. So it's going to be different for every set of twins. But I can tell you that this month is going to provide you with some sort of physical manifestation of your union. And I hope that you like let me know if it does in the comments and also let me know, you know, by contacting me if you're one of my regular clients, you know, what things are happening for you because that just helps us all if, if we are, you know, knowing that you know there's things happening on other people's journeys and feeling happiness for them like i've been getting good good reports back from some of my clients and you know it makes me feel happy to know that they are progressing on their journey and that their beloved is 
manifesting in the 3D, that things are starting to come together in the third dimension, that they are having these chance meetings with them, that they are spending time together, that they're getting messages out of the blue, that they're getting even signs and synchronicities that are amazing. All right, so now what I'm doing is looking at the wisdom of the oracle. I don't want to disturb the cards that are out, so I'm shuffling to the side. And the Colette Baron Reed Wisdom of the Oracle is going to be pulled for the Divine Feminine and Masculine. Okay, so I'm going to look at both the uh, 3D energy and the 5D energy for both Feminine, Masculine, and the Union. Alright, so 3D for Divine Masculine, 5D for Divine Masculine, 3D for Divine Feminine, 5D for the Divine Feminine. And then the same for 3D and then 5D for the union. But I'll read the 5D first because of the 5D energy that always precedes what's going to happen in the 3D. So whatever is going on in the 5D usually is the energy that happens before we have the 3D manifestation. Tick tock. So the divine feminine is like, hey, when is this show going to get on the road? When are we actually going to come into this physical union? So... Um, basically, the 5D energy is saying, hey, it's time. So that's good that, that the 5D, the soul is saying it's, it's getting to be that time. And for the Divine Feminine, message in a bottle comes in the 3D. So this is, again, another confirmation for me and for you that what I said, that the Divine Masculine would be moving forward in the third dimension toward their beloved with the Knight of Pentacles that you know this is saying there will be some sort of message in the physical world so even if you are in just a 5d connection right now you will get some signs and synchronicities that are pretty tangible in the real world that will help you to stay on this journey and be moving toward this union in the physical all right this is the 5d energy for the divine masculine imagine so the the 5d energy of the Divine Masculine is causing the Divine Masculine to imagine all of the possibilities for beauty that exist for this connection between himself or herself and their beloved. So, you know, there's just so many infinite possibilities that can unfold, okay? And so that's the kind of energy that's being trickled down into the present, into the Divine um, Masculine. And then we have with the divine masculine the yin energy coming up so what i believe this means is that there's a balancing going on for the divine masculine where they're starting to get more of the yin energy um integrated in the third dimension meaning that this is the energy of that the divine feminine has more of but the divine masculine needs this energy in order to understand the emotions and intuition and feelings and perceptions of the divine feminine so now the Divine Masculine is working on balancing out this energy within himself or herself, and that's beautiful because it's going to help them to empathize more with their beloved. All right, so we have for the union, the 5D energy, we have to the sea. So this card actually, um, I don't remember the exact meaning of this. Some of them I do now that I've been using it as well. <laughs> using them for a while this number seven on the top though is a sign that this is a divine um divine number okay divinely inspired message of course okay so it says there are points in a relationship where you have to decide to go with the flow rather than dictate the course you share with another so the soul is asking, or the soul energy, is to let go of the need to have things your way and allow the relationship, the combined goals and desires, to steer. And it says, can you both transcend your personalities and allow the partnership to form its own identity, its own energy? Now is the time to relax and see where this mutual journey leads. So both of your souls are actually trying to let the 3D mind and body know that going with the flow is the best thing to do because your souls are going to take over and you're going to live from a more heart-centered place soon if you if you do get into this physical reunion union okay and finally we have another seven two plus five is seven round and round is the physical manifestation so 
that is uh, number 25. I'm going to also read that one for the union because I feel like that message is really important. Uh, 25's message is, are you wondering how did I get here again? Does something feel familiar right now in your dynamics with others? Maybe a little too familiar? Don't be surprised that you found yourself repeating an old story with the same sort of person who may not look similar, but who attracted you because of your easy acquaintance with his or her qualities. Your relationship is a mix of what is good and is what is potentially challenging. You've been drawn to this person through the perfection of spirit's plan for your evolution. You may have circled back to an accustomed spot, a familiar place, but that's fine as you get to do things again, only differently this time. For you learned something of great value since the last time around. How will you choose to behave now that you're aware? Remain curious and stay out of the blame game. So yes, this month you're going to have another chance to get it right. So I'm going to end this because I see the recording is going to end itself soon. But I'm sending you some Reiki healing so that you can have a beautiful new beginning with your beloved this month of October. Let me know how things unfold. Namaste.